it. Word up to my homie G Shizzle Dogs. Not D O G Dogs, but D A W G Dogs. With a Z. Plural. Um. Hi guys, my name is Beaumond. If you've seen my last video on this channel, you've uh, heard my opinion about uh, vicious gladiator weapons. I was talking on vent with a couple friends, and they were from my old guild. Fun stuff. But uh, I'm going to turn that TV off. Yeah, that's pro, isn't it? <laughs> Okay. Anyway, I'm just doing this little guide to help a friend learn to play her warrior a little bit. Now, this is for Fury or Arms, whichever you want to go with, or Prot. Prot's good too, as long as you know what you're doing. But yeah. She is having a little bit of trouble, and I offered to make her a small little guide to help her get better. And what I'm pretty sure she probably lacks is this. The Razor Naga Mouse. This was my key. This was what I needed to stop being a clicker and a keyboard turner. I was one for so goddamn long, it sickens me. Because I am so much better than I used to be now. Just because of this. Best $80 I've ever spent on a computer product. Get one if you don't have one. I'm not, like, paid by Razer or anything. I'm not sponsored. I'm just saying, this mouse kicks ass. But, that aside, let's get into this. I'm going to take my camera, and I'm going to show you something. First step I took to becoming a binder. I unbound Q and E. By doing this, I enabled myself to use these for abilities. And I put A and D as the strafing buttons. Unbound these and turn them into strafing buttons. Best choice I have made in a long time for this. R, I designated to weapon swaps. E is spell reflect. Q is for Battle Shout. T, Arrow Throw. Y, Y, I forget what I bound it to. Oh yeah, I don't use Y. You know why? Because you don't go past Y. If you go past Y, you're causing unnecessary strain on your fingers and your hands, and it's going to hurt you in PvP. When you see what that does is it forces you to stretch your hand out, unless you got big hands like mine. It's going to start to hurt after a little while of playing. This is all the further you ever go out. This is all the further I do. You can go out further if you want. Just not much. B and G. I have these so close for a reason. This is Berserker Rage. This isn't Rage Regen. You see why? Okay. B is for my Victory Rush. Because honestly, like, what do you think of? C. <clears throat> Think of the fucking moon. Heroic Fury. You know. Refreshes your intercept. And breaks you out of roots. Handy. 
x beer z is used for inner rage but I don't really do it f f is for the colossus smash that is what I use it for now to go further up one is PvP trinket to break away. Two is my PvP damage increasing trinket. Uh, for me, it is impatience of youth. I'm sure you guys probably have a lot of different shit. But oh well. Three is <coughs> my racial ability. In my case, Shadow Mount. N I use for just plain death wish. I don't use it often. Now we go further up here. And four. Four I use I forget. What the hell does it do? Oh, that's right. I only use it for the macro. The macro for Fury, you know, pop Death Wish, Recklessness, and your Trinket, and go ape shit on damage. I'm pretty sure you all know that. There's pretty much not a Fury Warrior alive that doesn't know about that one. I just spam number four, and there you go. Have depending on your stance. Number two, heroic strike. Number three, raging blow, which I will explain that later. Four is hamstring. Five is bloodthirst for all stances. Six, pummel. Seven, slam or rend, depending on stance. Eight, Eight is Whirlwind. Cleave is nine. However, we do not use these in PvP as they are damn near useless and cause minimal damage. Twelve is for throw your thrown weapon, is what I do. You don't have to do this. This is for revenge when I'm in battle stance, have a shield equipped, and I'm trying to defend myself. Of course, you can't really spam revenge or anything anymore because people fucking bitch too much, but whatever. Anyway. <clears throat> Number 10. One of my personal favorites. This activates my gun. It's very useful. Just pop your hand down here. You see, you'd think that would be hard to reach, wouldn't you? But it's not. Just release the top of your thumb, and you can hit these easy as hell. Nice, huh? Final two buttons of the Razor Naga. These two. Yeah. This one here is my Execute. Spammable. And this is Heroic Leap. And those are all my binds. That is it for this part of the movie. Hope you enjoyed it, and go watch the rest.